In this session, we are going to recreate a fundamental mechanical component, the universal joint. We are going to model this versatile component from scratch. You can use this joint in your mechanical models, industrial designs, you can use this in your robots. As you can see here, we have different shapes and different details, but the fundamental and the base model is something like this. Also, you can download this model from our Gumroad page and it's totally free. I will put the link in the description. But before we dive into our universal joint, I want to take a moment to shine a spotlight on one of our incredibly talented community members. Look at this awesome work from 3 d Me. Thank you so much for being part of our creative community. If you want to follow 3 d Nick on Instagram, I will put the link in the description. Keep up the great work, keep pushing the boundaries and keep creating. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. And now, fire a blender and let's get it started. Create a cylinder with 64 vertices. And for the cap, I'm going to put this on nothing. And I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And I'm going to scale this up a little through Y axis. And then apply the scale like so. And then I'm going to add another cylinder with 32 vertices and i'm going to scale this down a little like so and I scale this up through the axis i'm going to put this here right something like this you can scale this up a little like so and then i'm going to apply the scale select this one and go to modifiers and add the boolean and select this object and put this on difference and apply and then we don't need this one we can hide this now let's tap into edit mode we don't need this part for now so let's go to wireframe and select these faces and delete we need to delete some vertices these vertices and i'm going to press x and dissolve vertices let's go back to object mode and apply all the transform and again tap into edit mode and press a to select all go to mesh symmetrize and we are going to mirror the top part and copy this to the bottom part so we need to put plus z to minus z so by this i'm going to copy this from top to the bottom as you can see here we just copy the top through the bottom right and then i'm going to add a subdivision surface with three levels hit enter i'm going to turn off the edit mode the next thing i'm going to do is select these edges and i'm going to extrude this by pressing e through here the next i'm going to add another cylinder with 16 vertices and i'm going to rotate this to y-axis 90 degrees and let's go to wireframe and put this here the scale is down the scale is up like so let's turn off the subdivision surface for this one for now to see this better and i'm going to put this through here and tap into edit mode and i'm going to delete these faces let's show you here we delete the right part of the cylinder all right then i'm going to select all by pressing a and right click extrude faces along normal like this all right so let's tab out and put this here and let's bring this inside the main cylinder like so and maybe a little scale this up again select the main cylinder and go to modifiers and select boolean select these object and then apply this and then hide this because we don't need this anymore go to edit mode for this one select the vertex mode and we need to um, join some some of these vertices so uh, let's select these two and press m and join at last let's go back and select these two and then again we need to join also these two and let's go closer and we don't need this one and this one let's delete this dissolve and these vertices let's dissolve let's see this one 
and again i'm going to select all and go to mesh and symmetrize so we just copy the top part and into the bottom part all right i'm going to put this a little inside then add another cylinder with 16 vertices and rotate this 90 degrees to the y-axis and scale this down and this here let's turn off the subdivision surface for this one scale this down put it around here and put this inside your other cylinder and select the main one again go to modifiers select the boolean select this and smaller cylinder and apply and hide this one all right time to edit mode and we are going to do some uh, modification i'm going to select these two and join and select these two again joining by pressing m at last and select these two and pressing shift r to repeat our last command and also these two shift r these two shift r and these two m at last all right now we are going to select all and again go to mesh and symmetrize to copy the top into the bottom and let's check if you have any double vertices together so i'm going to uh, turn on the subdivision surface let's copy the right part and create the left part select all and go to mesh and symmetrize up right here as you can see we need to copy the negative x into the x so go to direction and negative x into the x so here we go now we are going to add the thickness but if i go to modifiers and select solidify and increase the thickness as you can see we have thickness to our normals something like this if i go outside we have something like this which we don't want to so instead of this i'm going to delete this one and go to edit mode and select these two edges and press f to join this together and make a bridge and then select this one and press f to continue joining these two together and then i'm going to select this one these edge loops and press f and also these and press f to join them together also we need to join these edges inside this hole i'm pressing f to make cap and join them together like so now i'm going to add another cylinder with 64 vertices and rotate this through x axis 90 degrees i'm going to scale this down like so and scale this up through y axis to reach into the whole cylinder and select the main one like before select this and apply and then hide this one now let's go to edit mode we need to do some adjustment go to vertex mode and select these two and join all right and then also join these two together and also these two and these let's go up here first i'm going to join these two together and delete these let's do a symmetrize again from z plus to minus z all right and then i'm going to join these two vertices together press j to um, keep a boundary here and then i'm going to select these two and at last and here we have an extra edge here so what we can do so i'm going to delete this edge let's keep it like so let's go over there and put this down and let's go back maybe we can put this down like this so again let's symmetrize here we can join these two together 
All right, then these two. Okay, then these. And we can, uh, I think we can dissolve this and then join these two. Now we are okay. So again, select all and symmetrize. And let's save and let's try the subdivision surface for here. And here we have problem. Let's go to edit mode. Let's select this one. Okay, we have these. We need to merge. All right. And here. Let's go for the top. Then we can join and delete this one. All right. And then let's delete this face and go to edge mode and select these two edges and press f and then select this one and press f a couple of times and here we have a triangle which is okay and then save all right and again let's symmetrize from top to bottom like so and again select all and now we need to symmetrize from negative x to x so again select the symmetrize and go to here negative x to x like so let's go back here and let's see what we got here all right we need to select these and press s y and zero to flatten and put this around here and also i'm going to select these edges i'm pressing alt and shift to select these edges and i'm going to move this here like this for here i'm going to make a cap and do an insert and again another insert and collapse now let's do some bubble we are going to select these edges All right, then control B for two segments. Yeah, two segments bevel. Small one. Shade is smooth. You can add an edge loop here if you want to. And also here. Also, we can move this around here and press F to fill this and insert another insert and collapse. Also, add another bevel right here and here we go now i'm going to create this center part from this joint go to edit mode and press 3 for face and select these faces and then press shift s and cursor to select it and also i'm going to put the origin from this object to 3d cursor by doing this if i make a copy from this one and then rotate to for example x axis as you can see we are going to rotate exactly from our joint so i'm going to put the number 180 degrees and again rotate through y axis 90 degrees as you can see here is a perfect position for this second part of our joint next let's create another cylinder with 16 vertices and i'm going to scale this down let's check this from above something like this and also i'm going to scale this a little up through z axis like so and i'm going to apply the scale again i'm going to make a copy and rotate this to y axis 90 degrees like so and then i'm going to join these two together but to do that i'm going to do again the boolean and select these objects this time i'm going to select the union right and then apply we need to um let's select both and deselect this one and i'm going to hide this let's go to isolate mode by pressing slash so now we are going to select these edge loops and then press f and make a cap let's go back from our isolate mode and go to wireframe and press i for inset and put this here all right 
and then go to face by pressing three and then right click and extrude faces along normals like so all right then again i'm adding an another insert here and extrude faces along normal another insert extrude another insert and extrude also another one in collapse all right let's go to isolate mode and we need to do some bevel so i'm going to select these edges all right and then do a bevel one segment bevel like this then select these edge loops and control b for bevel for two segments like so then select these again another control b but this time a bigger one and also do adding some edge loops here like so and then selecting the subdivision surface like so and then i think we forgot to select this one all right then right click and shade a smooth all right we can go back and here is the result we can scale this up a little to fit this hole like so all right here we go so basically we are done here so i'm going to add more details here i'm going to put the cursor 3d cursor to the word origin and i'm going to add another cylinder with 64 vertices and i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees i'm going to put this right here scale this down to y-axis and apply the scale and i'm going to go to edit mode select this and make it fill and do an inset here and put this up a little like so and another inset like this all right next i'm going to add another cylinder with 16 vertices again rotate scale down select these two and go to isolate mode to see this better i'm going to put this here i'm going to scale this down something like this and put this here all right but for this one we need to uh have cap for the top and for the bottom all right then select the bigger one go to modifier boolean and select this one and difference and apply and hide this and here is the result we need to do some adjustment here select these two and at last i'll also this one at last and select these two and join them together also these and let's check if there's yeah overlapping vertices which we need to merge and also the same thing here i'm going to join these two together and also this one all right then i'm going to select these and j to join also these and join all right and i think we can join these two together as well but we can move this up so let's put this here and these two and i'm going to put the snap to vertex and let's move this to y-axis and holding control and hover your mouse over here to snap yeah it's so like these and put this up here we can uh, press s y and zero to flatten this and again i'm going to move this and hold control and snap here like so and maybe these two and snap here all right let's try the subdivision surface k 
continue making this correct so i'm going to delete these two and what if deleting these as well because we have a quad here and here right and then also i'm going to join these two together also these right and also these okay and we can join these as well maybe these two and also these right actually we can leave this without joining i think that's better and then also we can add an edge loop here and holding control to snap and then join these two together also this way i think that's better and also adding edge loops through here and here and again join them together and now i'm going to do a bubble but before that i'm going to make sure there's no overlapping vertices all right there's nothing and then i'm going to select these edges Control b for two segments bevel i'm going to put the metal outer to arc and then select these also we need to select these edges as well all right then Control b for one segment bevel like this then let's go closer and i'm going to join these two together also these all right then let's go to object mode and see the result maybe we can do an edge loop here next thing i'm going to do is selecting these faces and then press ctrl i to invert your selection and press x and delete the faces go back to object mode and select this one shift d and r and 45 degrees and hit enter and then shift r again to repeat the command and select all ctrl j to join go to edit mode press one a and m and by distance and here is the result and if you want to you can make these edges sharper so go to edit mode and you can select these edges also this one make sure to select these inside edges as well and then you can press ctrl b for one segment bevel something like this and now as you can see here we have a more sharper edge like so you can do this for all the edges all right let's continue i'm going to select these edge loops and press f make a cap and i'm going to extrude this inside and scale this down remove this a little out and i'm going to do the same thing again inset and i'm going to put this inside and i'm going to select these edges and control b for bevel and select these and collapse next thing i'm going to add screws here to make the screws i'm going to first select these faces and put the cursor to the selection like so and i'm going to add a cube and scale this down like this and i'm going to add subdivision surface for three levels and i'm going to apply this and then i'm going to add cast and put the factor on one and apply go closer i'm going to go to isolate mode and select these half and delete and then select these faces 
like this and i'm going to extrude inside and then press s and y to and zero to flatten like this and then select all and also scale this to y axis like so and go to edit mode i'm going to select these faces by holding alt and click here to select this ring and then press 2 for edge and then hold ctrl alt shift and click here to deselect these edges and ctrl b for two segments bevel like so and then subdivision surface for three levels and here is our screw also we can do a cap here fill this and do an inset and delete this face something like this all right let's go back from isolate mode and select this one again go to isolate and i'm going to scale this up a little like this maybe we can select these and and extrude yeah and so we can delete this part and do a bubble here like that all right let's go back and let's check this i'm going to put here and select this and i'm going to select this one and shift s and put the cursor to selection and select this screw right click and set the origin to 3d cursor shift d to make a copy and press r for rotation and 45 degrees and hit enter and then press shift r to repeat this command and we have something like this and we can put this little inside like here also we can select all of these screws and right click set the origin to geometry and then uh, put this origin to individual origin and then rotate this a little to make it random all right and basically we're done so we can here make a cap and do an inset and delete this face also do a bubble here as well and put this all of this closer to the main one also we can select this one go to edit mode and add an edge loop here and then press s y and zero to flatten this and put this closer to the corner and do a bubble for one segment and then press three for face and right click here and extrude inside and then select these edge loops and control b two segments and something like this all right so we can select these faces and do an inset and do an extrude this is something which you don't need to do i'm just going to add some details add an edge loop here all right then let's let's delete these faces and then select these faces and right click extrude faces along normals like this and then do some bubble here and also here and then select this and collapse maybe something like this now i'm going to delete this one and select these and ctrl j to join together as one object right then also again i'm going to select these go to isolate mode and select these faces and shift s 
put the cursor to selection and select these put the origin to 3d cursor and then i'm going to make a copy by pressing shift d and right click and then rotate 180 and again rotate through y-axis 90 degrees something like this and then go back from the isolate mode and here we go and also we can add an empty object for example a sphere and then select this one and select the sphere and right click parent the object and then if i select these and we need to put this on boundary box center and then we are going to rotate this like this and then select these empty sphere and put the orientation to local and then we can rotate this through z axis like so and that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one